Welcome to Infigyan friends. In this video, we are going to take up another challenging question from radical equations. It is square root 9 minus x over 3 minus x equal to 7 minus x. And we have to find out real solutions only. So let's get started by writing our denominator cannot be 0. Conclusion is x cannot be 3. Now I can cross multiply. So I will be writing square root 9 minus x equal to 3 minus x times 7 minus x. Now I will take minus common from here, minus common from this bracket. So I can write it is minus of x minus 3 and minus of x minus 7 and minus times minus becomes plus. Now if you will see there are two numbers written in RHS 3 and 7. We have to consider the average mean value of both. So it will become 5. So I will write our substitution x minus 5 equal to a. So x minus 3 I can write. It will be a plus 2. And if I will write x minus 7 then it will be a minus 2. So these two values for our RHS. What about for our LHS? 9 minus x. How we will write this? So it will be expressed as 4 minus x minus 5. You can check 4 minus x plus 5. So still it is 9 minus x. RHS is x minus 3 times x minus 7. Let's apply our substitution. So left hand side will be 4 minus a. Right hand side will be a plus 2 times a minus 2. Now difference of two squares will be there in right hand side. So square root 4 minus a it will be equal to a square minus 2 square or square root 4 minus a this will be equal to a square minus 4. Now I will put this equation equal to y. So from first and third square root 4 minus a this is equal to y or we can write 4 minus a equal to y square and from these two I will write a square minus 4 equal to y or a square is equal to 4 plus y. Now subtract first one from second. So sign change will be there minus minus and this will be plus. So we can cancel these two. Left hand side will be a square minus y square. RHS will be y plus a or a plus y. Now LHS we will apply difference of two squares formula a plus y times a minus y equal to a plus y. Take all the term to LHS. So I will write a plus y times a minus y minus a plus y equal to 0. a plus y is common. So in bracket we will have a minus y minus 1 equal to 0. Now from here I can write a plus y will be 0. So from here y will be equal to minus a. And when a minus y minus 1 equal to 0. So from here we will have y equal to a minus 1. Now we have to apply y value from the two equality. It was a square. Let me write here. So I will be writing a square minus 4 equal to negative a a minus 1. So I can write first equation a square plus a minus 4 equal to 0. First quadratic from these two. 
and from second pair I will write a square minus 4 equal to a minus 1 or a square minus a minus 3 equal to 0. So we have to solve two quadratic equations. First one is a square plus a minus 4 equal to 0. Second one is a square minus a minus 3 equal to 0. Let's solve. So a square plus a minus 4 equal to 0. And let me write the second one also. a square minus a minus 3 equal to 0. Let's apply quadratic formula. a equal to minus b minus 1 plus minus a square root b square. So 1 square minus 4 times 1 times minus 4 divided by 2a 2 times 1 minus 1 plus minus a square root 1 plus 16 divided by 2 minus 1 plus minus a square root 17 divided by 2. So we have got two values of a. So let me write here a equal to minus 1 plus minus root 17 over 2. Now I will write straight away the value of x. So our substitution was x minus 5 equal to a. So I will write here x minus 5 equal to minus 1 plus minus root 17 divided by 2. Add 5 to both sides. So x will become minus 1 plus 10. So this time it will be 9 plus minus root 17 over 2. So two values are here 9 plus root 17 over 2, 9 minus root 17 over 2. We will check at last. Now let us consider this quadratic equation. This is done. Now second equation, this one. I will write a square minus a minus 3 equal to 0. Quadratic formula a equal to minus b. So 1 plus minus under the root b square. So minus 1 square minus 4 times 1 times minus 3 divided by 2a. So 2 times 1. In next step 1 plus minus a square root 1 plus 12 divided by 2. 1 plus minus a square root 13 divided by 2. This is a. So let's apply our substitution. 1 plus minus a square root 13 over 2. Add 5 to both sides. x will be equal to 1 plus minus a square root 13 divided by 2 plus 5. So this time 10 plus 1. So I will be writing here 11 plus minus root 13 over 2. So we have 4 values. Let me write here. x will be equal to 9 plus root 17 over 2. 9 minus root 17 over 2. 11 plus root 13 over 2 and 11 minus root 13 over 2. If I will write approximate value, approximate value, then I will be writing first value is 6.5. Second value is 2.5. Considering root 17 equal to 4. Third value, I will write this is 7.3. Approximate and last is 3.7. Now conclusion which value we have to accept and which value we will reject. So let us consider our equation. Here it is. I will be writing our equation as square root 9 minus x equal to x minus 3 times x minus 7. Done. Now this radicand should be positive for real solution. So our answer should be x less than 9. One condition. Second condition, RHS should be always positive. So for this to be positive, x should be less than 3 and x should be greater than 
7. Once I will take intersection of these two conditions, then x should be less than 3. This is first condition or x should lie in the interval 7 to 9. Our answer should be in this band only. Now you can see which value we are going to accept. So this will be accepted 2.5 as it is less than 3 and this will be accepted as it is lying in the interval of 7 and 9. 6.5 will be rejected, 3.7 will be rejected. So we will reject these two values. So our final answer is x is equal to 9 minus root 17 over 2 and 11 plus root 13 divided by 2. Two real solutions which will satisfy our radical equation for real solutions. And this brings the end of this video. Thank you friends for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.